All right, y'all. So today's story is about the time recently when he had an Instacart order for this guy. So he basically told him in the chat that his wife is not feeling well and he will raise his tip if he can bring up bring the stuff to up to the door basically so he was shopping for the order and stuff like that trying to get all the stuff so he can get all the money in order and stuff like that i don't know what the order was i have no idea i don't remember it was a while back but he had this uh, strawberries like he said it was his wife's favorite he really wanted them and sometimes on the instacart app they'll have a different price compared to in the store like if the Instacart app will say like the strawberries are $2 for one in the store, they don't sell them for one. They'll be like $4 for one or whatever. So it's a big conflict with that. I'm not sure why Instacart, you know, doesn't have their inventory matched up with the store. So anyway, he shopped the order, went around, stuff like that. He was in communication with the guy the whole time. And I think the guy promised him what, like $20 or something like that? I remember what he said. Was it 20 uh, He just said he was going to give me extra money. Yeah, so he was like, okay. So did the order he went to get the strawberries and when he got up there they was like huh we don't sell no two dollar strawberries chocolate covered strawberries so he told the guy and i think how many did you, did you get you remember like four or something like that instead of the two or six? six yeah so you know that made the order go up if he didn't flat tip obviously and i don't remember how much the tip was in the beginning in the first place so comment below if a customer ever said oh i'm gonna give you an extra tip if you do this if you do that this happened to us before and we'll tell you the story later on as the stories go along but it's not always true so we always skeptical when they say oh if you do this if you do that we'll raise the tip so we always like hmm, i don't know so comment below if that ever happened to you and if the tip got raised or if they didn't even do anything shop the order then he ended up driving to the place or whatever i think it was like a confusion was it multiple shops for that one or you don't remember it was two i think yeah, yeah. so he ended up driving along checking out seeing what he needed to do for the order so he pulled up to the place i don't know if the shop was big or small or what was going on but he pulled up to the place and the guy was basically like um he went to the front desk and you told him you had an order to go upstairs or something like that right yeah he said i couldn't they don't allow people to go upstairs yeah so then he was like well he dropped the order at the front desk went back to the car and then you text the guy right to see yeah but he never answered i just told him that they wouldn't let me bring it up yeah. I don't even think he gave me no tip, you know, no extra tip. Oh, in the app? Yeah. Because I guess he was going to tip you in cash, obviously, if you went upstairs or not. But that's always risky when you see that with a customer and stuff like that. I'm not sure why the guy didn't let him go upstairs. Or the person just called him and like, hey, I got this special delivery coming or whatever. I wanted my wife to get it, etc. Let him up blah 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 but the guy was not allowing it so he blocked his tip that day a lot of times that does happen i guess more so with instacart rather than food delivery like i said it happened before with us it was more so on spark and it didn't go well if you guys remember that video that we did i feel like customers will put in the directions like oh you know if you do this if you do that we'll raise a tip we have a cash tip for you when you come here as long as you do everything right they don't have all these directions i feel like those customers when they have all those directions they be the most difficult ones of them all so i don't know if the guy was just making it up to get him to do the order he was gonna do it anyway but i'm not sure what's going on because if you're gonna uh tip him extra and he's not allowed to come upstairs obviously you should tip him extra through the app if he was going to do it in the first place unless he only had cash so we never found out that was a mystery and stuff like that he wasn't gonna wait around for like what 15 minutes for the guy to answer because right. there's other orders to be had who knows he could have been tipping him a dollar for all he knows you know so you just never know It was like a luxury place too right mm. was it kind of luxury oh man yeah it was a while ago i don't even i think probably like last year that this happened or whatever but Yep, so watch out for that when you guys are doing yeah, these this orders. Year. This is just the new year that just started. Yeah, no, it was this It wasn't 2024, that was 2023. That was this year. No, it was not. No, He's year. making up stuff. This was a while back. Mm -mm. It was this year. So yeah, always be wary of that. I would say if you was in a situation and you waiting for the guy to text back and stuff, I would say maybe wait five minutes and if he didn't answer you, just go along because you're wasting time and money and stuff like that. So yeah, it's like, you know, iffy sometimes, like, with that whole thing in the last video about the person tip baiting him, he did all that work and they mm. took the tip away. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go check that out because that was crazy. Like, you know, so you got to watch out for these customers. It could be all nice and dandy and everything like that. And the next thing you know, you know, they, they just line to get their order and stuff like that. So that was pretty much our story. Um, come below. Like I said, if that happened to you before and we will see you guys next time. Peace.